channel did my morning routine I woke up had a good workout I worked out for like an hour on the peloton I did I like broke up my rides I like to do that because I feel like 60 minute rides are very daunting to me so I like to do like a 30 minute ride and then I'll like put a little arm section in the middle and then I'll take like a 15 or 20 minute class to end my workout session and I'm literally sweating because it's only been like 30 minutes since I stopped working out I just hopped into the shower really quick and I'm still so hot. It's literally like 69 degrees, the AC. So I'm going to make a protein smoothie now. I've been making smoothies every day, so obsessed. So today's smoothie is gonna be kale and spinach, and I'm gonna do a banana, and I don't have any more fruits, so I'm actually gonna run to the grocery store right after this so that I can just do a big grocery restock. I need to get fruits, veggies, stuff for dinner, all that stuff. So for now, we're just gonna do a banana with the veggies and then I'm gonna do a squeeze of lemon. We have our Orgain vanilla protein and then I have some flaxseed I'll throw in there. And for liquids, I'm using coconut water for some extra electrolytes. Lives we see. I have Tarzan stuck in my head because I did a Disney ride for one of my rides. And now I wanna watch Tarzan. So maybe we'll watch that today while I clean or something. Very delish. I'm gonna bring this with me while I go because I wanna to get to the grocery store before it gets crowded. I'll be back and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be cooking tonight. I'm really excited for the recipe I'm gonna make for lunch. I saw it on uh, TikTok, so I'll share that with you guys later. But for now, we're gonna head out. Oh my God, I just hit 79,000 miles on my car. How exciting. Congratulations to me and my car for making it to 79,000. <laughs> So I mainly got produce. We got a lot of vegetables. I'm gonna start making celery juice again. So I got a couple of celeries and then I got these frozen edamame. I'm gonna use this for the Thai salad I'm making today. This is just some sweet yellow corn. I'm gonna make some like taco bowls later this week. And then we have strawberries, arugula, Brussels sprouts, spinach and kale for my smoothies. We have some of these carrot sticks for snacking and shredded carrots for salad today. Uh, some bell peppers. This looked good and it looked somewhat okay. Gluten-free, vegan, low-cal, and all that stuff. 
And I just got some cereal. I really don't even eat cereal that much, but just in case I want to eat a bowl, I have that on hand. We got this tropical fruit mix for my smoothies. Also for my smoothies, I picked another one of these Stevia Sweet Drops. These are so good. They make smoothies taste so good. I actually got a lot of stuff for smoothies. I got some raw plain cashews to throw into smoothies as well. I also got these pitted dates. One of these in a smoothie makes it taste so naturally sweet. I got some quinoa, got some teriyaki sauce. Sometimes for like a quick meal, I'll just like grill a couple of chicken breasts and toss in some teriyaki sauce and make myself some teriyaki chicken. So I also got some oat milk, the vanilla flavored. From my research, this is like one of the best like natural uh, oat milks. We got some quinoa multigrain bread, avocados, peaches, and apples. And then I got some tofu for the salad today. I restocked on some tuna. I got some black tea and some chicken apple sausages. I got two types of fish. I got this flounder and then I got some salmon. I think I'll make the salmon for dinner tonight. We got a red cabbage and I think I covered it all. Yes, yeah, that's all that I got and then also a thing of sparkling water so that's the haul and i now need to prep everything like cut up all the vegetables wash everything and all that stuff so i'll do that now and then we'll make lunch my teas all organized. I added the new ones that I just got today. And I got decaffeinated so I couldn't drink this one at night because I think most of these that I have are not decaffeinated aside from the peppermint one, which I like to drink when I have upset stomach. Um, and I think also the raspberry leaf, this is also decaffeinated. I like to drink this when I have cramps during my time of the month i love my little tea organizer from amazon came in a pack of two i use the other container to organize all my liquid iv speaking of liquid iv they just released some new flavors that are sugar free finally i'm so happy they finally have sugar free flavors so they have this grape flavor and then this white peach which oh my god is so good i think i'm gonna drink one now but so, so good. They also have a sugar-free lemon lime one. So if you wanna get some sugar-free liquid IV, you can use my code, it's xstephanyrose. It gets you 25% off your purchase. That's linked in the description of all my videos. Anyway, that's what I do with the other uh, little container. So Amazon Prime Day is coming up and I am gonna do an Amazon video, like an Amazon favorites, essentials, Prime Day picks. I'm gonna do a whole YouTube video on that. And usually their little organizational containers are always on sale. So I'll link these in my description. You can also check them out on my storefront along with 
everything else that's in my house and that I love from Amazon. But yeah, these will probably be on sale because sometimes they like do discounts and they most probably will on Prime Day. But I'm obsessed with them. Helps me organize all of my healthy drinks. But yeah, I'm going to drink this right now. This is so good. So I'm about to make the Thai salad. So here's everything I'm gonna need. I have some dry roasted peanuts, red cabbage, we're gonna chop that up, some cucumber, gonna chop that up, and then some organic tofu. So I was also thinking about doing chicken with this, but like I said, I'm trying to limit the days I eat chicken. So we'll do tofu and it'll taste really good. And then we have our edamame and shredded carrots and then arugula. And for the peanut Thai sauce, I'm going to be using peanut butter, soy sauce, sweet chili sauce, a little bit of honey, rice vinegar, poison sauce, and then a dash of ground ginger. And that's all. of ingredients much better now that it's mixed oh my god this looks and smells so good do you guys see that Ugh, cannot wait to eat this before i eat gotta give you guys an up close of the salad yummy so i think i showed in my last vlog i think my last vlog was when i did a bunch of random home decor updates and I talked a little bit about my guest bathroom. I got like new hand towels and a new rug and I was talking about like plants to update it a little bit. So I wanted to show you guys what I did with it. I got the new shower curtain in. I kind of just tweaked stuff a little bit. I moved like things that I had in other rooms to this bathroom, kind of did a little bit of feng shui, I guess maybe you can say. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. I feel like it looks a little bit more luxurious and not as plain as it used to because it used to be so plain with just like all white everything. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I'll show you guys what I did. Okay, so this is what it looks like from when you walk in. So we did add a few new things. I'll start off with the countertop. I cleared it out a lot because I used to have this little tray full of so many like spare perfumes but it was just too cluttered and I didn't want just a bunch of random perfumes there so I just cleared it up and then I moved these these used to be like over here I kind of wish I filmed up before so you guys can see what I was talking about but these used to be like off of the tray in this corner and there used to be an orchid here I moved the orchid to the kitchen and I put this little fake flower plant here this used to be my bedroom on my dresser so I moved that and now my dresser just looks so much better because it's not as cluttered I was actually thinking of getting rid of this but I thought it looked nice in the bathroom and I think these are peonies because I literally just bought like fake peonies from Amazon and I showed that in my previous vlog as well but I thought it looked cute and I did just keep a couple of perfumes here and like a body spray a men's body spray so that's that corner I didn't change this that's the same and then I did bring this plant in this used to be on the balcony outside because I didn't know where else to put it inside the apartment so I just like brought it outside but I thought it would be really cute like in the bathroom because you know I feel like the bathroom needed some greenery and I love it so that little fig plant that's from Ikea I got that four or five years ago at my first apartment so I like how you know the bathroom kind of has like a little pop now or just like some kind of life so there's that and then I didn't change that either I just have my hotel collection room spray a little diffuser and then my Aesop post poo drops to drop in the toilet after you you know do your business so and then I did show you guys those new towels that I got from Target's Castelluna line I love them they're really soft really comfortable absorbs a lot of water and um 
just think it looks so much better than plain white ones and then that print that was there before but that's something newish I did I moved that from my bathroom to this bathroom maybe like a couple weeks ago and this is the main new thing I got this shower curtain the one from society six that I showed you guys um, so I put it up and I love it it is kind of short though but I don't think like I don't want to return it <laughs> like it doesn't bother me enough to return it so I think it's fine but I like the print of it the little abstract stripes kind of reminds me of like zebra a little bit but I thought it was cute so I like how that looks and then this is the new rug that I showed in my last vlog that I got so have been loving that and that's really it guys so just a couple like different touches and I think it looks a lot better than it used to did I change anything back here no not really um that's what these shelves look like just like all the spare towels and bed sheets candles uh cleaning rags are in there so that's that's all the same but everything else looks so cute so let me know what you guys think i got this new bag from target i thought it'd be really cute for the beach but honestly like it's just an overall cute summer bag to wear anywhere it was only 25 dollars oh, look at it it's so pretty it's like this rope design or braided bag so cute it is kind of small inside though i feel like if this wouldn't fit a lot probably just the essentials but yeah it's only 25 dollars, and i thought it'd be really cute with like a little beach dress or i don't know but we're going to the beach in like a couple weeks or not a couple weeks maybe more like three weeks we're going like the end of the july toronto's 30th birthday at the end of july and i'm of course already starting to plan my outfits i haven't been to the beach yet this summer so i'm just way too excited i love the beach we both love the beach so that's why he wanted to go there that's what he wanted to do for his 30th birthday yes i'm planning my outfits already i feel like i already have stuff like in my closet because i was shopping for beach wear like back in the springtime because i was so excited for summertime so i think i have a lot of cute outfits but i'll do like a vlog where i pack and get ready for the trip every time i go on a little trip i always gotta do the pack and prep vlog so i'll film that in a couple weeks but definitely gonna bring this it is kind of thin though and there isn't much of like a base bottom to it like so it can't stand on its own it's more of just like a kind of like a clutch honestly a clutch with a handle but regardless Oh, I love it. I think it's super cute for summertime. So a while back, I talked about my summer reading list. I showed you guys the books that I was planning to read for the summer. So I wanted to give you an update because I have added way more books to the reading list right now. And this is where I'm at. So a little update. I did read two of the books that were on my list. The Unhoneymooners. And then Beach Read, I was obsessed with both of these books. I think The Unhoneymooners more so because it was just such a cute story. It was like relatable. It was funny. So funny. There were so many times I was laughing out loud. So yeah, I highly recommend this one. I was reading reviews online and a lot of people were saying they didn't like this. I don't know why. Um, I guess this type of genre is not for everyone. And also the male character of the book at the end like did something and it pissed me off. I think it pissed a lot of people off. I won't give too much away, but I still love the book a lot. And also the like whole, I don't know what you would call it, but like the whole storyline of like a guy and a girl, like they hate each other, they can't stand each other. And then they have to pretend to be married or they get married. Like, do you know that movie on Netflix called Purple Heart? or purple hearts something like that it's like a girl and guy get married and he's in the military so they only get married because they both need the extra money that married couples get so like storylines like that where like they have to pretend to be married pretend to like each other and they actually hate each other but then they end up liking each other towards the end because it's just the way the story is going to work out so i love stories like that that's kind of what this is but yes i love that one so beach read i also really really like this one this one is like kind of another romance book where like they do hate each other in the beginning but then they grow on each other so yeah i'm sensing a theme here 
with the type of storylines that I like. So if you know any books like that, let me know in the comments. But this was cute. This was like an easy read. I read this in like two days. I actually also read The Unhoneymooners in two days as well. And then I took a break from reading because I like outread myself. I think I read like, what is this? I think it's like 300 something pages each. I read almost 800 pages in a total of like four days because I read these books back to back. And then I took a like a week break because I was getting headaches and I wasn't sure if it was because I was like reading too much. So yes, I loved these, highly recommend them. So now for the new books on my list, I did buy some new books. I really try not to, but they were all on sale on Amazon. And I know what you guys might comment. I do have a Kindle. Yes, I have a Kindle. I do use my Kindle. I have some books on there as well. But I, my preference personally is like physical books. It just feels more summery to have a book with me at the pool or like lounging outside somewhere. I'm just an old fashioned girl. I've always liked physical books. I did start reading one of these books. Um, this one is called Paris is Always a Good Idea. So this I actually bought last year uh, and I never read it. So I was like, let me just read it because I don't wanna have books and not read them. Like I don't like to waste my money. If I bought a book, I'm gonna read it because like I said, I don't wanna waste money. But I started reading this. I'm on page about 29. I'm not really liking it. I don't know. It just seems kind of amateur or like, I don't know. I don't like the storyline so far. Maybe I gotta give it a chance, but I remember someone commented on my video like last year or a long time ago and they said that life is too short to read a book that you don't like. And that's always stuck with me since whoever commented that was. If it was you that commented, if you're watching this, just know that that comment has always stuck with me. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll finish it. I think I might move on to like another book. And then when I'm finished with all of these, I'll go back to that one. But I did buy some new books. So this one is called People We Meet on Vacation. So this is the author of Beach Read. I like this book so much and I like really like the author's writing style. So I wanted to check out the rest of her books. And this one is another like summary type of book. I mean, they're on vacation. I picked up this book called Every Summer After. This had a lot of good reviews on Amazon. I think on Amazon I typed in summer novels, like popular summer novels, and this was like at the top and it was like most high rated or like most popular choice. So I just wanted to see what it was all about. This novel is told over the course of six years and one weekend, so it's kind of like a long story. I think this guy and this girl, they like have been friends for years and they could have been together romantically, but it didn't work out. And then one weekend, maybe they do get back together or something like that. I think I'm leaning towards reading this one next, like right now, either that one or this one. And then this book is called The Summer of Broken Rules. I don't know why I got this. I think this is another one I saw on Amazon that looked good. Oh, they take an annual vacation, annual family vacation to Martha's Vineyard. I've never been to Martha's Vineyard, but I've always wanted to go. I feel like that'd be such a really pretty place to visit in the summertime. So I also like to choose books that take place in locations that are ideal. Like the beach, obviously I like books that take place at the beach during summertime, but also like places like Martha's Vineyard or like New England, Cape Cod, stuff like that. I really just like that. Cause I like to put myself in that setting. Cause when I read a book, I literally feel like I'm one of the characters. I really feel like I'm in that life and in that setting. So I like to picture myself in places that are really beautiful for the summertime. So yeah, I think that's what sold me on this book was that it took place in Martha's Vineyard. And then this one, this book isn't really a summer book, but I just saw this on Amazon. It's called The Love Hypothesis. Oh, okay, I, I remember why I got this. I think this is another type of story where like they don't like each other and the guy is like her fake boyfriend. So that whole like storyline of fake boyfriend, fake husband, I really like. So I think I looked up stories similar to either on Honeymooners or Beach Read. I just like these books so much. I was just trying to find books that were similar to this. So I think this came up in my research. So I'm excited for that too. So that's an update on my summer reading. Hope you guys are interested in this. I don't know how many people are into books. I am very into books. So hopefully some people found that interesting, but I like to talk about things that I love on the channel. So that's why I talked about it. But anyway, uh, let me know in the description or no, let me know in the comments your book suggestions. I always ask you guys because I'm always looking for new reads and especially let me know if you know any good books of the storyline where like they're in a fake relationship and then they end up falling in love because that's the best type of story. I feel like I've changed my hairstyle at least five times in this vlog. I've just been having a bad hair day. I couldn't decide what to do. But anyway, I'm going to make dinner now. We're keeping it simple with some salmon and broccolini. I'm getting a call.
Hey. Yes, so we're just gonna do salmon. I have this sweet baby broccolini, and we're just gonna keep it simple with the seasonings. I'm just gonna use this sweet chili sauce and then season it with paprika, garlic, salt, and pepper, and then of course some olive oil. Mm -hmm. 